Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So today we're going to be taking a look at how you can use an RSP SDR receiver from SDR Play as a pan adapter with an FTDX3000. Now obviously this is specifically for an FTDX3000 but it should work for pretty much any radio that has cat control and an IF or an RX out. So this diagram here is showing us how we're going to be connecting our cables. So over there on the right hand side we have our computer running SDR Uno and then we have two USB cables. One USB cable goes off to the SDR Play RSP DX. In this case you can obviously use the RSP1, RSP2's, uh, STR Duo. And then we have another USB cable that's going off to the radio itself. What we then have is a cable that goes between the RX out of the FTDX3000 to one of the antenna in ports on the RSPDX. So let's take a closer look at the connections on the back of the radio. Okay, so this is the rear of the FTDX3000 and what we're interested in are these two outputs here. Now we're only gonna use one of them. Um, so this one is the IF out and this one is the RX out. Now the IF out will only give you the IF that you're tuned to, and it's a very narrow band. So in my experience and how I have mine set up, I use the RX out. This gives us the whole band that we're tuned to, plus anything else that the antenna is able to receive. So I have here two cables. The first cable here that I have, this is an RCA plug. Two of these actually came with the FTDX. 3000 and what I've got here is some RG58 coax that's just soldered to the outside the braid is soldered to the outside and the center core is connected here this cable goes off to the RSPDX so I'm just going to plug this into here and then we have this cable this is a USB cable which comes from my computer and that is just going to plug into, and that is just going to plug into here. So this cable comes from the RX out on the FTDX3000. The other end of this is that phono connection. And this is another USB cable coming from the same computer. So we had one which plugged into the FTDX2000 and we have this one which is going to plug in to your RSP device. So in this instance I'm actually using the brand new RSP DX and you can go in on any of the ports, you can go in on any of the ports that you've got in yours as well because we're going to be looking at HF and they all support below 30 megs. So I'm just going to attach this here. And that's it. That's pretty much all you need to do with regards to connecting the FTDX3000 to an SDR Play SDR receiver to be used as a pan adapter. Everything else is going to be set up in software. So the first thing you need to do if you haven't already got it installed is to go ahead and download and install OmniRig. Now I'll leave a link down in the description below but it's really easy. You just download the executable file and run the installation program. So once it's installed, we need to configure it. So I'm just going to open up OmniRig here by typing in Omni and then clicking on OmniRig. And this is what we're presented with. We're presented with the configuration. Now I'm only going to be configuring Rig 1. My rig type is FTDX3000 and my COM port is COM port 6 and my board rate is 38400 as you noted that we changed that on the radio. 38400 is a faster board rate so the communication should be quicker. Now if you're not too sure which port you need to choose that's quite easy to find out. Just right mouse click and go to device manager. When you're in device manager open up the ports section and I've chosen to use the enhanced COM port. And it says here Silicon Labs Dual CP210X USB to UART Bridge Enhanced COM port and it says COM6. Now obviously this will only show if you've got the radio plugged in so you must have your FTDX3000 plugged into your computer via the USB cable as shown earlier and you also need to have it turned on. So once we know the number of the enhanced COM port 
we can then just go back to OmniRig just to make sure that we've got everything set up. So obviously you can select this drop down and go ahead and choose your radio type. You can copy the settings that I've got here if you need to. Okay, so OmniRig is now set up, so we can now click OK. Let's close it down. What I want to do now is start up SDR Uno. So once SDR Uno is running, we need to tell it to communicate with OmniRig, which will then control and read the radio's frequency and mode. So what we do, we click on setting here and we go to this tab that says Orig, O-R-I-G, obviously for OmniRig. Now you can choose which options that you want it to control. I've got Sync VRX to Rig, Sync Rig to VRX. I've also got Sync RX mode. Now because OmniRig has the option to control two rigs or two radios, and I only configured Rig 1, we're gonna make sure that we've got Rig 1 selected here. You can then close that box. You've then got this last button up here called R Sync. If you hover your mouse over the top of it, it says assign OmniRig control to this VRX. So if I click on it, it will just change color. And that's it. Our FTDX3000 is now completely synced to SDR Uno. We can show this by me turning the VFO on the radio. You can see here that the frequency changes. Now let me just turn up the volume of the radio. You can see the VFO moving. And then if I want to control the radio via SDR Uno, I can just find a frequency in left click. And obviously you can change bands as well. So let's try 20 meters. Let's put it onto USB, which is exactly what we want. Now when you change the modes up here, it also changes the modes on the radio as well. So you pretty much don't even have to touch the radio, unless obviously you want to talk and you need to press the microphone. So there we go, that's a quick demonstration on how you can configure your FTDX3000 or pretty much any other radio that has CAT control and an RX out or IF out to work with your SDR Play SDR receiver and then configuring SDR Uno. Now I just want to point out that the FTDX3000 does actually have a live band scope already, a uh, um, waterfall feature, but it doesn't have a real high resolution. So this is possibly one of the reasons why you'd want to do this. And it's definitely the reason why I want to do it because I can see much a broader spectrum range by using the computer and SDR Uno. Just want to say a massive thank you to all my current patrons. If you want to get involved, patreon.com forward slash techminds. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, I'll leave my handle down in the description below. You're more than welcome to send me a DM. Also want to say a massive thank you to all the team at SDR Play who make these videos possible by providing me with equipment. Anyhow, until the next video, guys, you take care. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video.